Welcome to Longevity's Welding Channel. I'm Tim Rubble, and I'm here to take you through the setup of Longevity's Weldall 256PI. Made a trip to Home Depot, bought the Leventon 30 to 50 amp plug that's compatible with my shop. For wiring it in, we have the green that is ground, white will be L1, and black will be L2. First thing we're going to do is mount the bracket down, and then we'll install this up. Now that we have the regulator installed on the machine, I want to talk really quick about the deviation. I've installed a female quick disconnect on the output side of the regulator instead of the standard push lock. And then on the hose, instead of just plugging the hose into the push lock, I've installed a quick disconnect male fitting that simply just snaps in place here. And this is the setup that I would use for the plasma process. But in the TIG process, instead of running the argon flow through the regulator in the water trap that may have moisture trapped in it, I would prefer to be able to disconnect this and plug this directly into the argon regulator. And we, I think we'll get a cleaner flow that way. Now we're going to go ahead and get this set up for the TIG process. So the first thing I will do is I'll take the ground clamp. And this gets installed to the positive side. And it's just a twist lock, goes in and twists. And we have about 20 feet of cable here. Drop that down, very, very nice grounding clamp, and we'll ground that to the table. Next up, we have our foot pedal. Simply plug this in. And right here will be your amperage dial for you to tune in the heat range you want on your foot pedal. Now for the installation of the TIG torch. TIG torch gets installed on the negative side, simply pushes in, turns. If you're using the optional water cooler, this will get installed on the input side, and the one down here will be on your output side. Right here we have a gas outlet, just a quick disconnect pushed and locked. And this right here will be for your torch trigger if you're going to use a 2T or 4T mode instead of your foot pedal. First thing we'll want to do is I'm using 2% serrated tungsten, 330 seconds in size, and we're going to take it over here to the grinding wheel and we're going to sharpen it. We want to sharpen it in line with the tungsten. And about two times the thickness of the tungsten will bring it to a nice point. This is the basic setup that Longevity supplies you with to build the torch. As I mentioned before, I'm using 2% serrated tungsten and 332nd size. Uh, other two that uh, would be good would be the 1.5 lanthanated and the 2% lanthanated. Uh, those three will work really, really well, both AC and DC, on this inverter-based uh, technology machine. So let's build the torch. First thing we'll do is we'll screw this in here. And we can drop this down from the top. And since I have a full piece of tungsten, I'm going to use the long. that tightened down and we'll select the number six cup now for the setup of the plasma torch first thing you want to pay note to is take it from the TIG mode or the stick mode and put it in cut up here at the top rocker switch which is in the middle or the neutral position next up we'll attach our grounding clamp to the positive side just like we had it for the TIG welding goes in twist lock then we'll take our plasma torch connect this to the gas outlet we'll take our pilot arc attach it to the pilot arc
And last will be our torch control, and we'll plug that in. That'll be your basic setup for your plasma cutting. In the back we'll have it set up for the plasma mode in this configuration. We'll dial in the pressure here. You can cut anywhere from 60 to about 100 psi depending on how thick you go. I tend to operate between about 80 psi and maybe even 100 if you're trying to blow through something. Now we got the plasma all hooked up, ready to go. I'll show you what the pilot arc does. And if you notice, we do get a voltage drop, an amperage drop, on the, uh, the panel for the pilot arc. And it's pretty common to see about half of that. But once you actually start engaging the metal and start cutting, you go back up to your desired amperage that you dialed into your machine. Now I'll show you the process to hook it up for stick welding. We'll cover DCEP, direct current, electrode positive. So your electrode holder will go on the positive side. and your ground will go on the negative. Come up here, rocker switch goes down to stick mode, and you dial in your base current. That's our basic setup for TIG, plasma, and direct current stick welding. Stay tuned for other episodes.